Oh. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Not bad now. God. Ray, we'll start again. Again. Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, if anyone, welcome to Ian and Ian's Fantastic Adventures. Adventures. We've just been on one, and we'll go out and do crazy stuff like potholing, uh, god scrambling, uh, in caves, camping, yeah. making things. Going through rivers. We've just been on a walk, haven't we? And I didn't fall over the wall. No, you didn't. No, I didn't fall. My legs yeah, not it hurting. Wasn't very funny either. No, it weren't. <laughs> well, <laughs> before lens get covered in water, we hope you enjoy our adventures. Yes. The music you're hearing right now is off E. He plays a bit of guitar, don't you, E? A little bit. Oh, right, Robin's there again. Hello, Robin. Good old speak. There's no way our attention span can stay on anything for any longer. Yeah, four There's seconds. Robin flapping on his own. Four seconds, roughly. Four you second attention span. Go He's already gone. He's gone. Jesus. Oh, yourself. Just We're done. back in again, E. Oh, sorry. Right, so enjoy yourselves. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Who's always I wonder who that is. I wonder who that is on your phone. Anyway, see. <laughs> See you in a bit. Ta da! Bonjour. Ta da! No, au revoir. Bye. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to Ian and Ian's fantastic adventure. And this is the continuation of the last video, which was the day version. Now we're moving into Nine Night Time. Part two. Number two. Oh, part, part two. two. Du, Pat de, du, du, de, de, Pat de, de, Pat de, and de, yeah, Pat de, sir. yeah. So we're moving to night time. It's a very creepy location. Get yourself a cup of hot chocolate. Put your feet, unless it's afternoon, which will send you to sleep, and then you'll not get out done. But anyway, sit not down with a drink, whatever it is. I don't care if it's lager, uh, or Guinness, or Mister E. You've just tapped him up forehead. I woke him up. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's good. Ah. Right, so, so, off, off we're going now, we're on, beautiful face, yeah, we're on, yeah. are we, next part, part on with the next uh, part de, night, ladies and sirs, part de, dark, and it's scary, scary spooky out in those woods over there, and there's a very eerie feeling about it, and we're going to be wandering about, with we're going to have a fire, and we're going to be having, yes, yeah, yes, that's going to be fun. and I'll be doing some, uh, Dictaphone recordings for the audio for a bit of fun. Uh, we're going to be doing the cooking and all sorts, having a fire. See you in a bit. What you got for your dinner, Mr. Me? I'll tell him in a bit. I've got my chicken ticket, my favourite. Chicken ticket? Yeah. Chicken ticket ticket. Oh, he's got his knobby knob. Knobby knobby knob. Right, it's time. We're not messing around with fire stills, we do it all the time. So we're just going to. Like <laughs> Sometimes it's nice just to get fire going and sit down. In, in tough conditions, it's good to have a gun. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's good now. Lovely birch bark. Lovely, we can't beat a bit of birch bark. That's lovely. I'm not even worried about that now. It's done. That's how easy it is for lighter. Boom, off you go. You smell that birch bark, you know? I know, yeah. Ah. You've got a better chair yeah, than me. Be, you're going to be roasting in a minute. Yeah. I'm even cooking on a gas cooker. I've got, um, what call it, my uh, spider cooker. It's a really good cooker. Um, and I'm just going to cook on there. I could cook it fire, but sometimes, you know, it's just nice to have a change. And we were just saying that on the next camps, we're going to actually make some <laughs> proper armchairs. He's yeah. made his chair now, but we're going to proper go out on his way to make a very nice, relaxing armchair that we could crash out on. And it'd be funny to make an armchair that you could put feet up on and then just have your bash your or something go yeah, to like sleep. Like a, like a recliner. <laughs> reclining chair. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, let's look at well, that. World first there, Mr. E. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Right, so now that's going, we'll come back to you in a bit. It was that easy, didn't it? <laughs> and just out of nowhere, Mr. E has given me a protein flapjack smooth lemon trek bar. Thank you very much, Mr. E. Because I didn't bring any munchies and that's made me night. I've just chucked a bit of uh, fat wood on there, he's given me. Look at that well, guy. You're driving home. I know. <laughs> I like driving. Enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, relax time. This is typical. I was sitting over there with smoke fire. I was sitting over there and it smoked with in my face. So I've turned my chair around here and it's blowing in my face here. Look like it tonight, Mr. E. Can't do, can it? No. Well, anybody who knows me, 
tell you I don't use gas cookers very often. This is a spider. There you go. It's a Primus spider gas cooker. Uh, and it's got a gasifying pipe here. It heats the gas as it comes from the canister, which is kept away on this lead. So it's kept safely away, goes through the gasifying pipe, heats it up, and then it's great for really cold weather. Some gas cookers uh, fail, yeah. cold. Yeah, because it's cold, it doesn't it don't, uh, function properly. So. Time. It, oh, it worked, yeah, it works really fast. It's a late, late thing. Well, are you having a coffee? Yeah. Well, listen, let's yeah. whack it out of that. Yeah. For two cups, whack it out of that. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I'll give you some water to cook with. Yeah, yeah, sir. I've got some more water. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a full canister that's in there now. That between, yeah, I'm going to fill the cup up. Get that laid down. Don't take long with this little beast if you get, get where it needs to be. It's got a rolling boil going now. So, get me a little tubery. A little bad handle. A little bad handle. That you thought you'd lost. I did. I'm quite upset, Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, that's plenty of drunk, you know. Right. And that's plenty from here now. That put me on a good while. I'm going to put that back on there. And then I'm going to put some of this in. And we're having his noodles. We're having his noodles. Noodles. Maggie curry flavoured. Maggie. Maggie. Oh, yeah. Maggie curry. Yeah, Maggie curry. Oh, Maggie curry. Smash it. That knock it. That knock it in, Maggie curry. Yeah. What? You don't really need to. Yeah, got a bit of wobble there. And then do the loop this. Pull that bag up or not? Come on. What the? I've lost all my strength. <laughs> what about? That's a bit cracker. Yeah, we got it. I put some water in it, man. Bring up to a boil. Put some of this cheapy flavouring in. No healthy food here, ladies and gentlemen. If you've come here for healthy food, just go home. <laughs> You're not going to get none. Listen, it doesn't have to be healthy, does it? Bro, energy you burn from the collective fire. It's a bit of hell. It always gets burned off, yeah, doesn't it? Mr. Lee's been very kind and he's given me one of these naan breads. And all I'm going to do is up, split it out one end and drop my noodles in it. So I've got my centre stick. Mr. Lee! Sorry, bro. I'm on fire. Right, so, I like that. Just like that. Nice, isn't it? Like a chef. Put him in black as ace of spades. Who cares? No. I am going to get galloping gut. Right, they're doing enough for me. That's that falling apart. Uh, so I'm going to take that off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to put that down here on the floor. With my magic prong. Um, and I'm just going to basically just pop, just scoop noodles out onto it bread and just eat it like a minger and then so-called juice up with bread <laughs> not bad Mr. E Mr. E's not having his dinner yet for some weird reason I oh, know weirdo Whip <laughs> fire Why you got a bit out of control? no, he ain't got a bit out of control with fire he was supposed to be keeping <laughs> it in that me. tin Blame look at that me. It all fell apart, then you just piled it back up again. Well, that's what you said. You said pile it round edges. 
Right, time to have a cup of coffee a bit and then I'm gonna get up this to my connoisseur meal on. Being a chef and everything. Right, so a little bit of the backstory on these. Vegan sausages, but um, I put them in the fridge and I forgot I got them. Uh, and then they started <laughs> were nice and warm there. And then they started expanding sort of like a big balloon. <laughs> That's Lee. So, so, the, yeah, so these were like basically rotting, I think. Uh, but sell by date seemed all right. Um, and so I left them, I, I cracked the side open and then I put them in the fridge and I left them for another week. <laughs> now you've got, to, you've got to understand that my history of cooking basically means that I can digest anything. I can eat anything. Running. If, if they're bad, you might as well make them. I might as well make them bad. Yeah, I might, I might as well. Yeah, if you're going to do it, do it right, I mean. So, what we're going to do now, everybody, is we're going to get these sausages with some, with some oil. We're going to kick up the kick up the cooker. Not, not that I need it. I could probably just put it put it up floor here. It'd, it'd it it cook perfectly fine with a heat from fire. Uh, and uh, chuck me a lighter, eh? Really need a lighter. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna kick up the. It's them tins that's. I mean, they're absolutely glowing red. It's that's what's flowing the heat out, isn't it? Yeah. It's a great idea, I know. But... So we've got some oil in there now. Are you watching, everybody? You need if you want to learn to cook, you've got to watch. And that's oh, see how that's playing. That's too up. <laughs> Hang on. Let's just go back a step. This cookie is it's either on or not because it's like designed for like stormy weather and stuff. So I get these sausages. Right, this. Smell a bit, yeah. So we're going to break them into lumps like this. We're just going to chuck them in the frying machine. Roll up, roll up for the frying machine. Mystery's frying machine. Frying myself. Yep. Keep them moving about so they don't burn. I, what I'm what I'm bagging on here is if they have gone off, my cooking is going to kill them. <laughs> it's going to kill. Them. Anything, anything that's on there is going to be killed by Ian's cooking. Yeah. It's a valid point, isn't it? There we go, look. Oh, that's going wonderfully. Let's get some more sausages in. Now, if this were real meat, no. <laughs> if you're dealing with real meat, don't eat out of, <laughs> out of date sausage. Mr. E, are you listening? I'm listening, Mr. Don't e. eat out of date real sausage. Oh, I'll leave that one for sausage animals. Don't eat out of date sausage. So if there's any kids watching, which there shouldn't be because it's actually down as not for children. So our channel is, but my channel ain't. So any kids watching, do not eat out of date meat. Except, or if it's out of date, just don't eat it. Bit more, bit more glu glutinous oil on there. Uh, where's my spoon gone? It's near. I'm going to keep this moving around, it's always going to burn it bottom. So there is... <laughs> there is an art to this. <laughs> pig's nuts. <laughs> pig's nuts. Pig's nuts. Ah, burning. Ow, oh, hot. Ow. Oh. Get that at it, mate. Oh. That's great, I know, when you're bloody wood for. Oh, it's lovely. And then, uh, uh, we got the beans. So you cook them up, and then when they're nearly cooked, we uh, we pop on the beans, yeah? How's yours going, Mr. E? Totally. I always put bloody lid off, don't I? And don't pull it off, you just crack it, and it keeps the heat in. He's cooking with his BCB cooker. But at the moment, we're sort of concentrating on this Connoisseur meal. Connoisseur? Connoisseur, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. To be honest, I'm used to just chucking my, my sausage ah. in fire. Anna. Ah. And I'll just chuck my sausage into fire. 
Yeah. Comes out smashing. Or on a hot stove or on a grill. Whichever, whichever it's good. Or, or, or I, I thread them onto, onto sticks. That's the other way. That's the other way of doing it. So yeah, I'll bring you back when it's uh, progressed. There you go, that's Mr. E's dinner. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Get a stir there while you're there. I can't, because every time I try to... Hey, you, you want me to touch your food? Oh, no, no. Just, <laughs> just step just away. It. Step away, Mr. E. Yes, just step away. Yeah. I just thought I'd use this gas cooker, because it's been sapped shed for ages. And to be honest, it's quite an expensive one. It's just sad that it's sitting there. Oh, the heat beats it. Oh, heat's up in there. Get that off. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Yeah, it's going well, that Mr. E, to be honest. There'll be chefs out there copying this now. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll put a special magic name on me. Oh, the classes and things. This is how you don't cook. Sausage beans a la E. So we've come to a really, really important point. We're taking notes. Remove that. We're going to put the beans in. Beans, Mr. E. Beans, beans, beans. It does apparently. It's nice to see bottom of pan. Yeah, bottom. It's, it's going well because bottom of pan's lovely burned. Got a lovely burn effect to it. Make sure you shake up your your can of beans. Pour half in, stir it up. Are you watching everybody? I know they'll be rushing off to do this when I've done. Go the attic garden. Practicing. Practicing, because that's important. Practice makes perfect, Mr. E. Right, we're all done. What do you think? Oh, look at that bubbly, wibbly, bubbly, bubbly, bubbling away. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm not going to be able to eat it all. How's your degree, Mr. E? Yeah, I think. Yeah. This is far too much for me, but I'm going to eat it because it gives me an excuse to have to get out my sleeping bag later and go and make myself fill it woods. <laughs> Not bad. Ass. Absolutely cracking. Bit hot, be honest. Yes. Right, we've just heard a dog barking. And then we could hear a female deer. We can't see out, but we can't. Oh my, what did we call it then when it went down? No. That was so close. I know, it's literally just over there. That's it. Yeah, man. That's a female deer. Hey? Now it's about 200, 200, 200 yard. Yeah, two feet in the air. Cool. Probably smaller than me. I was saying, I could see all deer markings on floor. I don't know if it's a mating call or or a warning call. That's pretty ace. Yes. A massive comet, a massive comet just came down. So it just it, 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 it lit all the sky up. It's quite a bizarre moment this. We should have got that comet. Oh it's heading away. I've got to see where I'm going. I've got to go out into the woods to see if I can find it. Then I could just turn my light on it. Yeah, just seeing a massive comet come down over. Okay, we're heading out into the woods now. Um, it's spooky wood. Spooky wood, it is spooky. It's a weird, weird, weird dead wood. It's because it's dead. The entire woods is dead. I've taken dictaphone and all so I can.
you get so you can see. Yeah. Oh, come on, you two, three, that's it. Three seats in the car, you know. I'm ready now. Ooh, I've got the different gloves on now. So you see, it's, this is all silver birch at the minute. Tree fall down, Mister. I don't know what's happened to the ground here, but all the fir trees are dead, and all these silver birch are dying. And silver birch don't want to die. If you have a silver birch, you'll fight to stay alive. Uh, I don't think the fir trees are dead. What? Not fir, you know what I mean. Right, we've just come from over there. Yeah, then we walked up, so yeah, fire should be down there. Over there, down there. What the fuck? Fire should be back there where we've just walked. Without any doubt. It's got to be somebody else's fire. It's not our fire. Hello. Hello. Uh. It's our fire. That's not right. It's not, it's not right. That's not right. <laughs> That's not right. I'm sorry, it's not. <laughs> That's uh, not uh, right. How uh, that work out? Because we walked through here. We walked through there, turned we right. Up there. We turned right and walked all the way up through woods. And we've literally gone all the way through woods and turned right. And we have fires here. Eh? No. No. Uh, this is, I'm not winding you in. I don't get that disorientated. We went right up there. Ah. We walked from oh, there yeah. into That's there yeah. and we walked right up. Yeah. And then you don't turn around and, and go, uh, walk forward back out to where you were. No, you've got to come back on yourself. Exactly. So how's that work then? It doesn't. It's not. It's something odd. <laughs> and, and the entire fir wood's gone. It's it's on the it's the it is. It's that way. It's ruining the night, what for it? But the fir wood goes all the way up to that little village thing that we went to. That has thrashed my head. Right, e. This is that tree that we walked in round. Yes. And this is supposed to go into the fir wood. So why does it now and then it didn't before? Because that's the same tree. So we've just walked around the tree. We haven't been in this earlier. It won't this we walked through earlier. No, it weren't. That's the point. We came in, that tree's there. We walked, we came away from the campsite from this side, right. walked straight in. We've just missed it then. We've got to have. But at this side, we've just... Uh, I know. All, it's difficult to get, refer this to people who's watching. All sense is... We came from there, we walked into the here. The fir wood, the end of it. Yeah, so but, we, but we, when we walked in here before, it wasn't, it was silver birch. That's why I was saying all the time, where's all silver birch trees gone? So, how come now it's silver birch? The f uh, sorry, it's fir trees when it used to be silver birch. Okay, it's got a bit thick. Hello? What? what the hell? Hello? I've got an horrible feeling about this mate. I've got a really bad feeling. It's been here a long time. I've got an horrible feeling we're going to find something in it. I've got a bad feeling. He's not just been in this for years. Well, you could tell. 
I've got a funny feeling we're gonna uh, I'd hate to think. We'll just have a quick look. And if so, fuck please. Yeah, to fuck please. What's it bag? How come I've got to be one that looks in? This has been near us all this time. This has been next to us. Oh, I've got an horrible feeling here. You know what I mean? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God, he's not doing it. I didn't want to... What? Perfect cooking as well. It's somebody else's mate, don't touch it. What about that? What? Just gonna fasten it up and leave. Literally somebody's used this tent, brought come down, put tent up, couldn't be bothered to pack it away. <laughs> and gone. What? Happy right with them. <laughs> yeah, it's going all in the roof and all the branches dropped on it. Yeah. So pack it up, just fasten it up and leave it. Honestly, E? That would he deserve this. You hear stories. You never even, yeah, I know. The people who no, have you heard about that Chinese wood where they go out and commit suicide? No. It's called suicide forest. Yeah. And they'll come out, put a tent up, get inside, kill themselves. Neither. That's fresh, man. Yeah. First that happening. And then that. And then that. What we were on about earlier. Are you my eyes? Blair Witch. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. It's just. What we were, what we were, what we were on about. Just, earlier. just weird. Why would you find a few bats stuck out like that? Come on. That would, I've always thought to myself, if I found a tent and it were abandoned, would I look inside it in case I found a dead body in? Yeah, I would. <laughs> and it, now, it, for me, really, the driving force would be to make sure family knew where they were. You get me, find ID and... Well, no, that's police job, isn't it? It is, but, you know, obviously you found them, so you tell police. How creepy is this? It's bad. It was bad when I was coming through earlier. <laughs> Someone just touched my neck. Yes. Hey. <laughs> this is weird, weird. How weird is this, man? This, this is where we find. This is where we find blood. The dead against the tree. Oh, swinging tree. Oh, oh, don't, don't. That's, <laughs> look, you can see here, look, where it deer's been. Yeah. That's an old one, these, these fresh ones up there. That's what I said, didn't I, earlier on? I said, these fresh ones. You might be right, it, it could. There's no there's no in there that could offer any ID. Oh, God, this is getting. How thick is this? I <laughs> like it, really. Probably his tent. Yeah, look. He's digging for roots. Probably his tent. Yeah. Oh dear. And where were you? <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were 20 foot back. Yeah. Yeni, Yeni, I think you should go and have a look. The pile of bones duking out at this. <laughs> pile of bones. Okay, so now we're into this. Have you all swear in there? Yeah, I'll be honest, I've, I've, I've totally lost track of where I am. Oh, right, okay, yeah. It just ends, doesn't it? Keep... Right, so if wood's not right, this one here, wood's it's up right. there. If wood's not right, we're in the middle of wood. It's up here. Ah, fresh, wood's fresh you back in hotels. Weird happens. But I've got a pretty damn good sense of direction. And we're walking not in circles, because, not tonight, our tent is over there, our tents are over there, feet fire. Yeah. This is balmy. Yeah, that, it's balmy. Hey? Yeah, what? Fire. To the right hand side, I've just covered, all, covered the view of it. So we need to be 
So where have we been walking for the last half an hour? <laughs> this is, honestly, this is definitely the most disorientating wood I've ever been in. But it's walking in circles. All I want to do is get up to that little place with buildings. That's <laughs> absolutely cracking. People were thinking we're making it up. <laughs> okay, it's getting really, really confusing now because we've not crossed the open space and yet we've ended up we've ended up at this pondy effect. But in fact the pond became that dry pond became too well. See. It does, yeah. Um, so actually, we've set off. We've gone out to the right, gone left, gone out to the right, gone left, and then end, ended up in total opposite direction. -y. That can't be right. Can't be right. We're in, totally, we're in totally opposite direction to the direction we set off in and we haven't turned around, we just continue going forward. This is the dry riverbed. Dry pond? Yeah, so it's on the... So if you stand... This is the island bit there. Yeah, so if you stand facing well, the car it's, it's from the, the tent... Video. Yeah. Yeah, that would technically be south. Yeah. Yeah. But we, um, but we went north. Yeah. But we've ended up south. How does that work? But we've not turned right or left. I, I, I. Right, I want to try to get people to understand. My battery's come back. Hey, my battery's come back on. I've got two bars. What? I'm telling you, come here. You saw the battery had gone. Now it's got two bars on. Let's go back in the hole. Yeah, when we were walking up through them woods, my, oh, it's dying again. Yeah. What the? This open ground here is it's about weird. 300, 400 foot wide. And it's an open space. And it goes all the way from one end, all the way up to the other. Try not to shine in my eyes, mate. Right, so in order to be able to get to that side, we'd have to cross this. But we've never left the woods. On the opposite side of the fire. Right, so it's got weird, right? So I'm going to have to change off this camera and go onto my phone. So you're going to ch see a change in the aspect ratio. Um, first of all, we heard the deer. Yeah. And the deer were honking in the woods. And it uh, was quite loud. And it, it was loud and close. And it was for quite some considerable yeah. time. And then we saw a shoot, a really bright shooting star go over trees. With green and red tail on it. And then we've walked out into the woods, gone totally circumnavigated the same area for some reason and ended up at that tent. Which we never even knew of there. We didn't even know it was there. And then we've tried walking up the edge of the wood on the left hand side of the camp and ended up coming out at the right hand back of the camp. In a pond. In a, in a pond. That we videoed earlier. So, we're just going to run with it and uh, I'll use my phone from this point on guys. <laughs> We've just been saying that, uh, about this place and, and I says, uh, oh, I, I weren't scared, I weren't scared. I'm going out now, I'm going to take Dictaphone, put in that tent. I can't think of a better place. If it's gone now, I'm off. <laughs> if that tent's gone now, eh? Where was it? We're over here somewhere, wasn't it? Eh? Eh? Where's tent? I'm going to put dictaphone in it. I can't see it. Oh, it's here. Yeah, I'm going to go and put the phone inside it and we're going to leave it to see if we can get an EVP. Because we don't know what's going off here. <laughs> it's well I open it and there is a dead body in it. So, this is Zoom H2N. I'm trying to do this before battery dies, it's going to have to go onto my phone. See? I'm pushing record, it's in. For surround sound. 
And there's going to be God there. What's this? I don't touch anything. Oh, whatever it is, he's made a spoon. I'm not picking anything. He's made a. Well done, mate. He's made a spoon. He's done a bushcraft spoon. If, if this is yours, let us know. There's a nice little candle lantern over there. Some sleep mats. There's some steel wire over there, which will probably come in handy for locking his sleeping bag and stuff down. Some water bottles. It's very open it since you've got an head in it. Uh, it's got a bit of a dustbin, so it's keeping things clean and tidy. So yeah, well, uh, I'll come back later. Right, so we've come onto this camera now, it's slightly different aspect ratio. Um, one thing that me and Ian have observed since all this has started going off is how quiet. Just listen. No bird sound, no noises. It's normal like a background sound, but there's nothing. Right, so now we're heading out. Um, fire's built up so we can find his way back. <laughs> and I've got my survival knife on this time because I'm not leaving it out to chance. <laughs> Mr. Lee's he's got that and he wants a big stick. So it's only a sapling, it just so it's to take them off. Right, a significant point. Like literally three minutes before we came out at the back of the camp, we saw the farm on the left. The farm is on the left hand side of the wood. It's basically west. And then we came out from the south. Impossible. Which just backs up the fact that we're not going crackers. Or well, maybe we are going crackers. Maybe we are going crackers. <laughs> right. <laughs> we finally got here. It's over the fence. That's that was that's been crazy. The fun was gonna be getting back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, same situation getting back, we're in trouble. Right, so this is one at storage. We were in these buildings earlier, but now we're just going to. Uh... <laughs> I keep hearing really noises around me. I'm just getting a bit creeped out now. I think I'm starting to imagine things. <laughs> if you're a thief, you. <laughs> Take some of these pallets. <laughs> oh, ee. <laughs> ee. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hello, darling. Oh. Hello, sweetie pie. Don't hurt him. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah but the thing is, is, that's what's running around it woods, mate. <laughs> After day we've had, what around and that's there. Crazy. What? Ah. Another one here, look. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this one. I've got block from my tent. I've got block from the tent. Oh god. <laughs> How bad would it be if it if it has? You know <laughs> it's nice. What on earth? Yeah, I'm get a f right, um, yeah, this is where we initially went into woods. Um, these are buildings as we first came out, and now we're going to head off down here, do a left into the woods again, down the side of the fir wood, which is why it's all so bizarre because we obviously know where everything is. So, why did it take us four times? To get through, is that gate there? It's the gate we come through. This, no, this is where I came in early on. Oh, you know, when I went to get that piece of wood. Oh, that's good, really. Yeah. And I can actually show you up here. 
you'll see a tree that's had a, a shoot cut. I don't know who cut that bit with me. Uh, I don't know where it is now, but I'll cut a, I'll cut a piece from up here. So in honesty, we had a bit of a nightmare getting back uh, because the fir wood stops and starts and stops and starts. And it's against the judging your distance out into the woods. Literally, I would advise people coming and spending a night in here and try and work your way around where you're going because a nightmare and this time fire had burned down so I just clocked side at tent with short time with torch showing up showing off it. We both said that we're, we're glad we're back. That was a right weird adventure wasn't it? That is very place this way. It really is. Right before we settle down sit around fire I better go back out now and get dicked for and that's been on a good while now. Well, I'll just listen to it over a period of time and pop, if I find out, I'll pop it on in a later video. But, uh, yeah, a bit creepy over here. Right, we've worked out now why he were in tent on his own in the middle of the woods. Ooh. I found that, that mister. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery! That's, no, that's not good, is That's it? not great. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest. It's weird being in a tent. Weird. I've got this lamp thing. Free. As I spent over £30 at a shop ages ago. And it don't hook, it's just got a ring. It just clicks on and off, but there's no hook, so you can't hook it onto it. <laughs> I just had to put the other lamp up there. <laughs> so, I don't know what to do with that now. I'll find some reason for it. <laughs> Silly thing. I'll put that down and use it like a, a bedside lamp or something. Well. It is weird being in a tent, I tell you now. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy stuff. You can hear him in the distance playing his videos. I can't see around me. That's the biggest problem for me. I can't see what's happening outside. <laughs> Right, so I woke up this morning to water dripping on my face. This all the inside of the tent is wet through and water is literally just running down the inside of the tent. It's Wet through, allowing to not touch above my edge is quite bad. If you can see it, I don't know if it's this particular tent that's done it because I know there's some that do. But look at this, it's just dripping. It's, it's these droplets, it's just dripping in on me. I've had to put my coat over the top of me because my sleeping bag's wet and it's all the way down and I've got the vents open on the outside Eh? Hey. Hey. All inside of my tent's wet through Is it? Is this not cold? No no, it's absolutely, it's, it's dripping down on my face. I've had to put my coat on top of me to stop this thing getting wet through. My sleeping bag's all wet. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Say good morning, Mr. E. Morning, Mr. E. There you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was a bit disappointed there, to be honest, with uh, moisture and whatever. It's obviously off my breath because it's on inside. But I've had vents open all night and... No. As you can see, we didn't have a big fire, and most of it were in that tin. <sighs> Open your door and say hello. What? Open your door and say hello. <sighs> say hello to the good people. <laughs> it's Mr. E. <laughs> Not bad, huh?
I'm all good people. Yeah. I'll be honest, yours looks taller than mine. Yeah, I think mine must be one of the early ones. Because that's... Have a look. Mine comes up to there. Look. See? Mine comes up to there on my leg. God, yeah, it's way higher. Wow. Yours comes up to me, hip. Mine comes up to there. Oh, you've measured it wrong. I haven't. You are. Look, watch. Yours comes up to there. Yeah. Yeah, so it's there. Yeah. Yeah, watch. Nowhere near. Half a foot. Half a foot, mine's half a foot lower. Sorry, I'll give you this one then. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> half a foot lower than yours. I thought it felt a bit reclusive. That's crackers, isn't it? Anyway, um, so there you go. I'm gonna pack down. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's all finished now. <coughs> We're on his way back to the car. On his way back to the car. I've got big bags. I've got more bags under my eyes than I have on my back. And it was a little bit frosty last night. It wasn't went below. It, it definitely went below freezing because all that water that tended up from my breath inside the tent. Because it won't dissipate away. Uh, it just froze. It froze solid. So Freeze. when I took the fly sheet off, it was just ice all over the top of my tent. I was just nice and toasty. But your tent is half a foot higher than mine. Isn't it? Which is weird. Yeah. But anyway. And it's the same tent. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We had some very bizarre experiences last night. And you're now being, I'm recording on the camera that apparently battery died. And I understand that during over time it can just sort of build its power back up again. But it's still on two bars. So that was crazy. That was a bit bonkers. So yeah, really weird, spooky, Come on, creepy. I want to get night. to Mackey D's for a breakfast. Leave it by.